please hold on. Hold on. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video and another competitive Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet uh, video here on my channel. In today's video we will be using this team which was the winner of a, let me see here quick, where it is a winner of the Limitless VGC Season 1 Tournament. So um, this team should be pretty decent. I assume it has a Gengar, Dragonite, Cerulege, Hydreigon, Murkrow, and a Gold Dingo. Um, so hopefully we can get some tops in today's video and showcase this team real good. But yeah, let's get into our first uh, matchup and uh, let's see if um, we can grab ourselves a top here. And before we do that, I forgot to mention if you want to ch check this team out yourself, make sure to use the render code down in the description down below or on the right top hand uh, side corner of the video but yeah anyway let's get into our first match here here we have our first matchup in today's video guys what will be a salamence um a mirage garada an isla murkrow tyranitar and a blissey so okay this is a tricky one first off i think murkrow will probably go in first i could see mirage garada follow pretty Pretty much straight after um so i think our murkrow would be a decent choice here we do have heat wave which is very very nice so let's bring in hydrate in here mm. let's bring in dragonite just in case she brings salamence then i could see our mm, go maybe gang yeah, probably, probably bringing Gengar here as our last man standing. Let's see what he brings out here and leads with in to the first uh, battle of today's video. Hmm. It will be Mercury and Salamence. I'm not sure if we can beat Salamence on raw pace here. Let's see. Hydreigon has 98, I think, and Salamence is 100, so we will not be quicker, in fact, actually. So we need to terrestrialize and go into Dragon Meteor here against Salamence and able to survive a possible dragon attack, I will assume. Let's see here. Okay, Chill comes down, comes out as expected. Now Tailwind comes out. And it will use Outrage. It uses some Murkrow though. Interesting, interesting. I was not expecting that to be honest. We will drag a Meteor, uh, Meteor and we will take it down. Hmm. Interesting. So Annihilate comes out here. And Annihilate is fighting Ghost. So it will be way to... Ooh. I think Cage would be the play here. Let's bring in a, a Heat Wave. With Ogo and Annihilate. I don't know what that will go into. It goes into... Ooh, water. Which is perfect. A miracle use Taunt. Which is fine. As I'm only trying to... I'm fine with this. And a crit on Murkrow, pretty decent. And then I, oh, we get a burn on, that's huge. That's huge. And Thunder Punch, ooh. 
Murkrow survives that. That has to be because of the burn. That's beautiful. Beautiful by Murkrow. Beautiful by Murkrow. Okay. Let's just foul play like that. And let's... Question is, can we take out... And let's... Uh, let's start pulse it. Interesting. Oh, Blissey comes out here. So that's normal or fairy. I can't remember com exactly. And Blissey is normal. Okay, so it'll be weak to fighting. Okay, we will go down with Mokro, which I am completely okay with. Ooh, I can tell I can see Blizzy have an, a massive HP, but it's extremely awful defense. Oh, extremely good special defense though. Oh, we didn't even. A special attack. Let's bring you in because you have extremely good attacks. So here, if we go for a low kick on Blissey and we go for the Heat Wave, we should be able to deal some pretty, pretty decent damage on them two together. I'm trying to think. Well, Annihilate is 100 speed, isn't it? It's 90, so we will be quick, actually. And Drag... Uh, what is Dragonite? Dragonite is 80, so we will be quicker than Annihilate with Hydreigon. At least. Which is something I'm really, really happy with. Let's see. Should we get the Heat Wave in? Is that enough to take out uh, Annihilate? It is. So we'll be coming with a low kick here on Blizzy. Let's see here. It's probably not enough. It's not, but it, it's a it's decent amount of damage. We'll bring out a light screen. It's not going to do much. Let's be honest. It's leftovers. Okay. Okay, let's see. So Mercro will come back out probably and bring in... I mean, you will be stupid to use Tailwind at this point. There's nothing these two is gonna... There's no way these two is gonna make it anyway, so... Might as well just bet, uh, cancel battle, because we will for sure eat both of them up. Like... I don't know why you w wouldn't just cancel, because you're gonna eat both of you up now. It shouldn't be too hard. To, I don't know why he would use Tailwind. Blizz is not quick. Yeah, I mean, a heat wave would be extremely strong anyway. It won't take out, but low kick would definitely finish the job. And that will finish the job for us, so... Perfect start from... Our team here, we didn't even get to, to showcase Gengar, but um, we're glad we took, it, we took it up here in our first uh, game of the video. So let's get straight into the second one. We now have ourselves our second match of the video, which will be a Armourouge and Diddy. Um, what I forgot your name all of a sudden. Well, uh, Garchomp, Golden Goal, uh, Water Rush. And oh, it's Grimmsnarl. There it was, Grimmsnarl. Hmm. Probably Grimmsnarl coming out first here with the fake out. Um, I could see Indidi or Amaruj actually coming out first here. Uh, so let's see here. What is Amaruj? Fire Psychic. We did Dark Ghost. Which means you could probably be very, very useful here. 
I drink him decent bad. I think we're thinking Dragonite is going to be real good here for us. But I'm not sure. Let's see what uh, Bobby here brings out first with us. So Grimstone and Ronan Wash goes out first. He's probably gonna fake out us, but we don't even protect us. Not much we can do anyway. Let's see here. It most likely will be a fake out. Or it could be a light screen of reflect though, not gonna lie. It probably will be, since we got to set up our tailwind. Yep, it is it will be light screen. Which I'm fine with because both the speed will fall. Actually, not sure which one of them is quicker. Ronald Mosh is 86 and Grimmsnarl is 60. Okay. I think we just slush bomb anyway. And let's taunt it so it can use light screen. Oh, of course it doesn't even work. Stupid me. Boltrit comes out, which I can live with. It didn't fit our fit ourselves anyway. So well, I'm fine with this. But when Diddy comes out here, which is a pure sidekick. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's normal too. It will be weak to fucking dark. Hmm. Interesting. Do you have dark pulse? You know what? Let's bring out Hydreigon here. So Rotom Wash is left, which is fine. So I see the Sludge Bomb, and then I see... Uh, Dark Pulse. Which, oh, indeed, is actually quite quick. But we should have the pace anyway because of Tailwind. And in general, our uh, Mons is actually quicker, so. Maybe not. Huh. The Sludge Bomb comes out here. Takes out Grim's not perfect. So we just have in Diddy left here at this point. Let's see what Dark Pulse does. Dark Pulse does deal a decent amount of damage, not gonna lie. Really happy with Ditch. Trick Moon gets set in. Okay, now it gets tricky. You see what I did there? Trick Moon tricky. I'd say, um. I say I'm pretty funny. Okay. Let's dark post this armor rouge. But unfortunately it will be they will both be quicker than us. Okay, he will terrestrialize it. Question is into what? Okay, into psychic. So psychic weakness. So that'll be still physically like psychic and dark. So that's fine anyway because we're using dark pulse. So, I can live with that. Absolutely, for sure, I can live with that. Come on, Gengar, hold in. Gengar won't hold on. But he will go down anyway, because indeed he will go down. Which is fine. I 
And now we have you left. And we will normal terrors up into use extreme speed. Oh, I forgot Rotom Wash though. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe. You know what? Let's Earthquake this shit. And let's start Pull Shield. Because I'm pretty sure because of. We have Levitate on, we should have, so we. We are not going to be hit by Earthquake. But I'm not sure. But I assume pretty hardly. Let's see. What we get into here. Please hold on. Hold on. Ooh, and it's a crit, but we hold on for now. Yes, and Levitator doesn't affect. Please, come on. Oh, that was horrible. We does go to take out Armor Root, which is massive. Oh, it looks critical for us here. On the wave, okay. This looks extremely critical. Extreme speed, come on. Let's drag a meteor here. Extreme speed, come on, please. Decent amount of damage there. And drag a meteor, and we hit. Absolutely beautiful, boys. Absolutely amazing stuff from the team. Once again, this team seems to be real deal here. Absolutely amazing. But um, glad we could take the dub in our second match. And let's just straight uh, whoa, and let's just head straight into our third match here of the video. And we are now headed here into our third and final match of today's video, which will be a Don Doso, Tatsuguri, Amaruch, Sylveon, uh, Hydreigon, and Miyoshkarada team. Okay, this is a really tough one. You don't have anything massively to go against this uh, Dondoso. You do have Terror Blast on you. You could be... Fuck. Let's get Gold Dango in here. Mercro, you in the back. I feel like Hydreigon is so solid. Oh, I feel like we're in a, in a bad matchup here for sure. Fuck me. We're in a, uh, I seriously, seriously think we're in a bad matchup here today. But, um, let's see if we can do anything about it. Fuck, but, um, nice bucket hat though. Hydreigon Tatsugiri. Okay, let's see here. Choice bags. Go. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't do that. We have to go with make it. Not good, not good. Good choice begin to Thunderbolt here. And Tailwind. I could see this be pretty pretty neat. Especially on Dondoso. Dragon Meteor. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh you will sit the tailwind. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's what I thought too. I just 
swap into Zerudlich here, I feel like. Not sure what's going to happen, but because if I get to take down that Tetsugiri, that is massive because that means he won't be able to use his Dundoso combo. Yeah, he, yeah, he had to bring out uh, Dundoso now, which is exactly why switching into Surulish is perfect at this point. Oh shit, maybe, maybe it's not actually. Fuck, I should have used Haze. Ah, uh, I wasted the turn. Hmm. That's my fault, I should have, I wasted the turn there. Definitely wasted the turn. Okay. So let's Thunderbolt into you. Um, switch back into Murkrow in case, in case he uses Earthquake, which I could imagine him doing. Ugh. Please don't be grass. I will literally shoot myself at this grass. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, of course it's fucking grass, isn't it? It had to be. It had to be fucking grass. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, then it would have been much better if we used... Um... It would have been much better if... M much better if I used Mega Rain. Which I can Oh, because of choice specs. I seriously hope haste works. I'm not sure if it does not done though, so when when Tatsuki is inside, but I guess we'll see. So all stat changes were eliminated. I mean it should do so done so done do so lucid. I mean Dundoso should for sure lose its um It's boost and besides that boost. I mean, I assume so. Um. So. Exactly, so that, that's actually real good for us here. So let's Thunderbolt on Doso and Trislice in here and use Bitter Blade on Dundoso. Because Dundoso in general only has 35 speed, so we should be able to outspeed it for sure, but it has a massive defense and HP stat, which is not too great, but the Thunderbolt. Doesn't do too much, but it's fine. And Bitter Blade takes it out. That's absolutely beautiful by Shirud Ledge. Absolutely beautiful work there. That was absolutely beautiful, actually. That was a good play. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That's pretty well played. Okay, so let's see what he has left here. So it will, so we will Thunderbolt Tatsugiri. I will Terra Blast. Oh, fuck. I'll just spit up Blade into Hydreigon actually. Okay, I should have gone into Tetsugiri, but I actually thought we were quicker. Tetsugiri's 82 and go... Oh, what the heck? 
It doesn't take us out. Okay, we're not completely gone yet. Let's see here. We have to... We will actually try and go for you to protect here. Let's terrible as you, Tetsugiri. Because I could see them... Drago Meteor into... Yep. I'm not sure whether Hydreigon would do that too. Okay, it's gonna go for mine. And it will take me out. Uh, which means I'm fucked, basically. Basically fucking fucked here. Oh, I have to hope for I survive. You survive this. Okay, we will survive this. But okay, that's right. It's quick anyway, so that's GG boys. We couldn't defeat our last opponent, even though we got the Dondoso down fairly quickly and easy. Um then the Tatsugiri itself and hydrogen was too strong for us unfortunately even though we tried um yeah and that was all for in today's video ladies and gentlemen and in general this team seems very very strong it seems like probably one of the strongest team i've played with so far i'm really liking the hydrogen uh Mercury a lot in this team and like dragonite gengar's religion gold dango is definitely really strong too so I mean, if you want to check this team out yourself, make sure to use the rental, uh, rental code down in the description below or on the top right-hand side corner. It's definitely worth trying. It's really, really strong and well put together team for sure. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when my next video goes live. And besides this, if you guys have a merry, merry Christmas and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.